guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I am going to be doing the My Mug Collection. So I saw a couple people do this video, Oshina, Holly, Celestria, and it looks super super fun and I have a mug collection so I thought why not put my mugs with some books on my shelves and show you guys. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in and show it up. Fun fact about me, I am not the biggest coffee drinker. I enjoy it. I drink it if I'm out and about. I'll get an iced coffee, but I'm not a hot coffee person. It is not really my thing. I'm not a hot tea person, uh, and I use my mugs around Christmas time normally to drink hot chocolate. My dad gets really irritated that I have so many mugs since I don't really use them a whole lot. They just take up space, but I love them and I will probably buy more because I just love mugs. They make me happy and I should just start using them for random stuff as long as I'm using them, right? I don't use my mugs all the time, but I love them. The first one that I have is this beautiful scripture mug. This beautiful mug that has a scripture, be still and know that I am God, Psalms 4610, and that's on the inside. It's got this beautiful blue rim and this gorgeous polka dot down at the bottom. Love the handle. Uh, a good friend of mine, Jessie, got this for me and I love it so, so much, but I have a hard time using it because it's hand wash only, not microwave safe. Um, but it'll probably be good for like a good cup of milk with my pancakes. Mm. Anywho, the book that I chose to go with this mug is A Fire and Lions by Misu Andrews. And I chose it because to me, Be Still Know That I Am God is such a huge, like, verse for this. Not that it's like a verse used, but I feel like Daniel and the family really had to use, be still and know that I'm God in every situation that they were in. And for me, when I had this book, I was like, ah, this makes sense to me. And if you haven't read this book, you need to. It's amazing. It makes my heart happy. Such a good book. One of my favorites of all time. But for me, it made sense. The next mug that I have is this adorable snowman mug. It is huge. It's perfect for hot cocoa in the winter time. Perfect for like a good Hallmark movie. And for that reason, I chose The Perfect Christmas by Belle Renshaw. And this is book two in her Winter Montana series. And I chose this one, one, because coffee is a huge deal in this, uh, in this story. This book, they talk about um, the coffee house that they own. I don't remember what it's called. Mountain Grounds. That's what the coffee shop is called. And I figured it would be perfect with the snowman mug because it's Christmas and it's coffee. So that was my pairing for this one. The next mug that I have is this super cute sweater mug. I actually painted this when I was in California visiting Jenna in March for her book release and we went and painted pottery together and it was a lot of fun and I picked this super cute sweater one and it came out super cute and folly when I was painting it it was looking a little Eastery which I mean there's nothing wrong with that I love Easter but I wanted this sweater to be kind of fallish and I'm super happy that when it was um, baked and glossed that it came out looking kind of fallish and for this mug I actually picked Rules of Murder by Juliana Deering and this is book one in the Drew Fathering mystery series. Might seem a little weird but for me mysteries and suspense are big like fall winter reads for me and this one is a little more on the light-hearted side. They're like based in the 20s. They're nothing crazy. It's just a cozy mystery essentially um and this is just kind of like a cozy fun fall mug to me with the orange and the pinks and the greens and stuff so this series made sense to me for the sweater the next mug i have is this 
beautiful fox mug and I got this from Target a couple years ago I think. Um, it was only a couple dollars so I couldn't leave him on the shelf. He's perfectly beautiful. I love him very much. I love foxes. It's an ongoing thing. My family, I have fox stuff all in my room. So of course I had to have this particular fox mug because he's great. The handle is his tail and I just think it's great. And for this mug, I chose The Haunting at Bonaventure Circus by Jamie Jo Wright. And one, the colors scream fall to me. Again, a mystery book reads at fall time for me. Um, but they're both just kind of like dark. Um, I don't know, they just scream fall vibes. And I was here for it. And this one just clicked. As soon as I saw this mug, I knew I was grabbing this book. So that's my choice. The next mug that I have is this super cute uh, enamel sweater weather mug. This is also from Target. A friend of mine from work got it for me a couple years ago. And it's just super cute, simple, sweater weather across the top, silver rim, white inside. Super nice, good for fall, winter. But this one, I knew I had to pick this book. And the book is 18 Days of Christmas by Audrey Bodine. And this is the first book in her uh, Kate and Christmas series. She unfortunately unpublished this book and we're still waiting to hear what she's going to do with her writing. So you can't get it unfortunately as the watchers but I'm holding on to it because Audrey is a good friend of mine and I'm happy to have the book. And it just matched for me. It just made sense. Winter, sweater weather, the reds. It just, it made sense. The cabin and all the thing and I chose this. The next mug that I have is this super cute little vibey mug. She's so cute. She's like got her squinty eyes like me and her little smile and she's just so cute. And I love this one. I love the shape. It's unique to me. I got this one from Ross years back. Um, it's super heavy duty. It's really nice. I love it. Super cute. And to me this screams springtime. Super cute and I love it. And for that I chose this book. Blind Dates, Bridesmaids, and Other Disasters by Aspen Hadley. And I have not read this one yet. I actually just got it recently. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it though. And it just seems like something that's up my alley. I've heard it's super funny. And it's super, super cute. And the aesthetics just kind of match to me. So I have to match them. The next mug I have is this mug that my brother got me for Christmas last year. And it is My Weekend Is All Booked. Super, super fun. I love the mug, it's super lightweight, but it's nice inside, super cute. And for this, I paired the Book Nerds and Boyfriends novella collection by Sarah Monzen. One, books. Two, your weekend is all books, so obviously you're reading more than one book, right? So I had to include something that had multiple stories in it. This series, or collection, is so, stinking cute. I love it so much. I love Sarah so much and it's just adorable and now I want to reread it and drink out of my super cute mug that my brother got me. The next mug that I have is My Heart Belongs to Elias Roach? Rock? I'm not sure how to say this last name. Anywho, I got this from a book box a couple months ago and obviously I'm going to pair it with the book that came in said book box and that is Dearest Josephine by Caroline George. And I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book. I'm super, super, super excited to read it and find out why our heart belongs to Elias. Um, but I love having bookish merch and I love when it goes with a book especially. So I'm super excited about this and of course I had to pair them together. Alrighty, the next book that I have is <laughs> probably one of my favorites. I love it so much. And that is this T-Rex mug. Um, it's great. Something about me is my family calls me T-Rex because I have short little arms and it's an ongoing thing. I love dinosaurs. My bathroom is decorated in dinosaurs. Anytime I see a dinosaur, I kind of freak out. I just, they're so cute to me. I love them. And I love puns so much. So when I saw this, I got this from Charming Charlie again, years ago. I didn't care how much it was. I bought it because it, it's so great and it's a little t-rex with a little bow tie holding a little teacup 
and it's so great and even though I don't like tea I don't care I can put my sweet tea in this because it's just so great and I love it and the book that I paired with that is Vine for the Viscount by Christy Ann Hunter this is book one in her Hearts on the Heath series uh, book two is coming out or has already come out by the time this video uh, is out but you should check out the series it's great it's Christy if you haven't read Christy's book yet I don't know what you're doing you should pause this go get one and then come back and then tell me what you think okay I love Christy but the reason I paired these together even though this book deals with horses um, there's a couple comments made about tea throughout the book and they're in drawing rooms together and you know where they sit and they have people and they drink tea because that's what they do um, so I thought that it was the perfect pairing because tea the next mug that I have is this super cute dog person mug. My cousin got it for me for Christmas last year and I love it so much. It's from Target and it just has a bunch of different breeds of dogs and if you know me I am the biggest dog person at work. Anytime there's a dog in the drive through they will come and get me if I'm on lunch or they'll let me know uh, and I get super excited. I love dogs so much if I could adopt them all I would. Um, so this mug is perfect for me. Also, I love the color. But for the book that I paired with this, I went with Yours Truly Thomas by Rachel Fordham. And I chose this because there is a dog that is kind of important to the story-ish. Um, she is a character and it is important to the main girl character. Her name is Honeysuckle. And fun fact about that, I actually named the dog. So I have extra special connections to, to the dog. Um, but she's just kind of like a rug rat and always into trouble but super lovable and she's just super fun. So I had to pair Honeysuckle's book with my dog person mug. The next mug that I have is this super cute like mint sea foam. I don't know colored mug. I got this for my birthday from my co-workers last year and it's just super pretty. I love the height of it and it's super fun because the lid pops off, doubles as a coaster, and it also comes with a little spoon. So if I need to, I can mix, 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 put the lid on to keep it warm and then take it off and I never leave a mark on a table. I'm just a proper young lady, aren't I? So for this book, it just screams spring to me as well, but like fun and having a good time and honestly, kind of like young-ish. Uh, and so I paired it with Victoria Grace the Jerk Face by S.E. Clancy. This came out last year, I believe. I've heard really, really good reviews about it. Super cute cover. I love the color and every time I looked at this mug I just thought of this one I haven't read this one yet but I'm excited to um, and I just thought they made a good match the next mug that I have is this super cute cow mug uh, I'm just an animal person in general I should just say that because I love cows so much um, I actually have two mugs like this I have another mug obviously the other one I'm not showing in this video it holds my bookmarks uh, and looks a little different than this one but this is the one that when I use for like drinking and stuff I use this one. I actually have two mugs like this. One I'm not going to show in this video because it holds my bookmarks and it's a little different but they're both cow mugs where they sit on the udders and I just think that's so funny it's so cute and I love it so much. So this one obviously I use when I do milk because it's a cow um but I love it so much it's nice and big and I had to match it with this one. <laughs> it's I'm So Sure by Jenny B. Jones and this is book two in the Charmed Life series. Um, this is the original cover. She has redone the covers for this series in the last couple years but I chose this one because it's the one I have and it's got a cow on it wearing a tiara. <laughs> it's so stinking cute and I love it and it matches perfectly so I chose it. And last but not least in my mug collection for today 
is this adorable fox mug as well. This is from Walmart. It's a part of the Pioneer Woman um, thing that she did with the foxes a couple years ago. I have a couple pieces from this collection because again, I love foxes and the family knows that. <laughs> so they get me fox things for birthdays and Christmas and stuff like that. Um, but I love this mug. It's cute and stout and just adorable. And also the handle is supposed to be its tail. Um, and it's wearing a little scarf. So this one also reminds me of fall, but not in the dark way that the other fox reminds me of more of in the light romantic way. So for that I chose From the Start by Melissa Tag and they just kind of match to me. They just go together. This one screams fall, this screams fall, but like in a cute, fun, beautiful Pinterest leaves are crunching and falling in your scarves and adorable boots and that kind of thing. So those were all of my mugs uh, that I have at the moment. I'm sure I will buy some more because I need an Easter mug. Uh, I need a bunny mug because I love rabbits. I need a horse mug because if you know me, you know I got love my horses. I just need all kinds of mugs. I love mugs. I, I love them. I need some Disney mugs. Don't come at me, Jenna. <laughs> understand that I don't have any yet but I'm going to Disney this year and I'll get some I promise so that's what I got and I love it let me know in the comments below what you thought of my matching uh, and from the mugs that I have what do you think you would have matched Ooh. also another thought you can help me out how do you store your mugs I personally can't store them in a cabinet because I don't want my family using my mugs and we don't have the cabinet space for them at the moment, but I don't know another way to store them where I can see them and actually start to use them. So if you have any brilliant ideas, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Help me out. And I think that's it for today. Don't forget you can check out my vlog for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at for the love of Christian fiction on all my other links are in the description box below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.